Hey, welcome back to your favorite Math 116 technical mathematics class. We're going to talk about approximate numbers and significant digits. Uh, so we'll have some discussion here. Accuracy and precision in mathematics are, are important. You know, what's the difference between uh, something being exact and approximate? So if you think about a surveyor measuring the distance between two locations uh, to be 167.3, that's approximate. You know, more precise, it may have been actually, or it, it might have been 167.28. Either way, we don't know the length exactly because there's no perfect instrument for measurement. Okay, so either way, the uh, measurement's going to be approximate. we got to keep that in mind. No, no instruments are ever perfect. When we are writing approximate numbers, we must often include some zeros so the decimal point will be properly located. So, you know, you have that point uh, 003 or 5600. You know, if you didn't have point zero zero three, if you didn't have those zeros right there, you wouldn't know that it's three thousandths, right? So, um, same thing as the 5600, you got to have those two zeros there so that you know that the decimal is right here, here, if I can draw it, if it'll let me draw it, 5600, period. <clears throat> However, except for all those zeros, all the digits are considered to be significant digits. Okay, so we're going to talk about significant digits and the rules with that. So 34.7 has 1, 2, 3, oops, oh man. Has three significant digits. 8900, 8900 actually has two. So placeholder zeros. You know you have to have those zeros to tell that the that the decimals right here. Um, those are not considered significant. So if zeros are used as placeholders, they're not significant. So this just has two. 706.1. If you have a zero between significant digits, anything any number that's not a zero is a significant digit and if you have zeros between them you count it as a significant digit so this has four significant digits uh, 5.90 now that zero on the end you do not need that zero um, to tell you where the decimal is you know 5.9 same thing as 5.90 so if it's included you actually keep it as a significant digit you know, I like to think it, it. I always so there's three significant digits on that one. So I always think to myself, well, maybe the number's like maybe it's some approximation. Like maybe it's 5.9012, and it's been rounded to 5.90. I don't know. Anyways, for some reason they've included the zero. So you have part of the rules for significant digits is you actually include it. Okay, so all non-zero digits are significant. Anything other than zero is a significant digit. Any zeros between significant digits are significant. Zeros at the beginning or end of a decimal that are just used as placeholders are not significant. Okay, so these are all the rules that you want to keep in mind. So let's do some more. So 87,000, you know, you got 87,000. Those three zeros are there to tell you that the decimal's right here on the end. 87,000. Oh my gosh, for the love. Can't get this thing to draw for me. 37 here. Anyways, there's a decimal right here. 87,000. Oh my gosh. This thing drives me nuts sometimes. Anyway, those are used as placeholders so that you know that, there we go, that you know that there's a decimal right there. So there's two significant digits. 408,000, same thing with those three. You only need those three to tell you that the digit's right there. So there's only those three significant digits. 4.0005, see how those zeros are squeezed between the significant digits of the four and the five? That means you count them all, all five of them. There's five significant digits there. 0 0.004. The only reason those zeros are there is to tell you that that decimal is there on, to the left of them. So there's actually one significant digit. Whereas here, those three zeros are not included. You do not need those to tell you what, that that uh, decimal is right after the four. So there's some reason they're keeping those there. You say, well, we actually include all four of them then since we don't need them as a placeholder. 
um, 0 0.000503. The first three zeros are only there to tell you where the decimal is. So this one actually has three significant digits on it. Uh, the precision versus accuracy in mathematics. The accuracy refers to the number of significant digits, whereas the precision, uh, you, you know, how precise a number is, is referring to the last significant digit. Okay, so like this 321.04, it has five significant digits. That's how accurate it is. It's accurate to the five significant digits. Precision, on the other hand, is looking at, let me look at my last significant digit right here. That's in the hundreds place you know the zeros in the tenths place the fours in the hundredths place so this thing is precise to the nearest hundredth precise to the nearest hundredth okay so let's say you're reading a clock and uh, one a meter reads point zero three one appears the other one reads point oh three one two and peers in terms of precision who's more precise you go to the last significant digit that one's in the thousands place remember it goes tens hundreds thousands here are the last significant digits the two and that's in the tens hundreds thousands ten thousands okay so this one's more precise because it goes to the ten thousands place okay this one's more more precise so you look at the accuracy of the last significant digit <clears throat> that's again that's left or right the rightmost now in terms of accuracy this one has two significant digits again the zeros there is a placeholder this one has three again that zero there is a placeholder so in terms of accuracy 0 0.0312 is more accurate since it has three significant digits. Okay. Let's do some more here. Machine parts measure to be 2.5 centimeters uh, long. It's coated with a film 0 0.025 centimeters thick. Which one has greater precision? The 2.5 or the 0 0.025? You go to the last significant digit for precision. So in terms of precision, this one goes to the tenths place right here. The five goes to the tenths place, whereas over here, tenths is thousandths place. This one's more precise. 0 0.025 more precise. So it has more precision with its measurement. Whereas, what about the accuracy? Well, this one has two significant digits. So accuracy. This one, now that zero right there is a placeholder, so it only has, so it has two significant digits. So the same since both two significant digits. Same accuracy on this. Okay, so 0 0.025 more precise down to the thousandths, but in terms of accuracy, same. Another one here. Uh, 9,270 compared to point, point 0.8. Which one is more precise? We go to the last significant digit. This one's, remember, zero is not a significant digit. So, because it's just there's a placeholder. So we go to the seven. So the zero's in the ones place, the seven's in the tens place, two's in the hundreds, nine's in the thousands place, right? So we're looking at the seven, it's in the tens place. Whereas this one's in the tenths place. So in terms of precision, 0.8 is more precise. You know, it's to the thousands, it's measured to the thousands. Uh, in terms of accuracy, this one's got three significant digits. This has got one. So 9270 oh, more accurate. It has more significant digits. Okay. Well, when we measure something, so let's say we have 176.3. Um, we know that 
in, in terms of if you're thinking about rounding, right? Um, then that then that 176.3. If you're going to the next, you know, if you go to the hundreds, right? It could have been as low as 176.25. You know, because that five will round it up to three. You know, so it's somewhere between this 176.3, somewhere between that, and definitely no longer than 176.35. You got to be less, than, strictly less than, less than 176.35. You know, like 176.34, for example, is less than 176.35. That'll round down to 176.3. Right? You're looking at the four. And the four just uh, bumps that bumps that down. Okay. So remember, if it's five or more, add one more. So five or more adds that makes that two into a three. That's what rounds it to one hundred seventy six point three. If it's four or less, uh, you just leave the same. So here's just your uh, reminders of how to round again your procedures. Okay, so five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So let's look at this uh, first one here: seventy thousand four hundred thirty. If you were, if they were to ask you, round this to three significant digits. You go left or right. So there's the first one, second one third one there's the third significant digit right there okay is the four is the third significant digit so if you're rounding to the hundreds now we look at the three and we say well if it's four or less let it rest so 70400 boom okay if that three would have been a five or bigger then i would have bumped that four up to a five about this one, 187.35 rounded to four significant digits. So one, two, three. There's the fourth significant digit. So we're going to round it to the tenth place. So we look at the five right next to it. Five or more, add one more. So we bump that three up to a four. Okay. And how about this last one, 70? Oops. 71,500, round off to two significant digits. Seven is the first significant digit. The one is the second significant digit. So we're rounding to the thousands. So we look at the five. The five is five or more. If that number is five or bigger, we're going to bump that one up. 72,000. Okay. All right, so what about arithmetic operations on approximate numbers? So here's, here's your uh, rules here. Number one. When approximate numbers are added or subtracted, so if you're adding or subtracting, you go with the precision of the least precise numbers. So that's when you're adding or subtracting. And, and the reasoning is it's like you're only as good as your least precise number in terms of measurements. Okay. Now, when you're multiplying or dividing, you go with the accuracy of the least accurate. In other words, whoever has the least uh, or smallest number of significant digits. Okay, so let's look at some here. So if you're adding these numbers, 73.2, 8.0627, 93.57, 66.296, you add them all up and you get this, 241.1287. Okay, when you're adding or subtracting, you go with the precision of the least precise number. So if you look at the first number, um, it's to the tenths place. Whereas this one's the ten thousands, this one's to the hundreds, this one's to the thousands. The least precise is that one right there to the tenths place. So what we got to do is we got to take that 241.1287 and we take it to the tenths place right there. So we look at the two and it's four or less, let it rest. So the one stays a one. Okay, if that two would have been bigger, five or bigger, and we'd have bumped that up. Okay. So adding or subtracting, go with the least precise number. Round it to the least precise number. Multiplying or dividing. So here's, uh, this is, you're going with the least accurate. So now you're taking this one, which has four significant digits. You're dividing it by this one, which has two significant digits. 
you go with the least accurate number. So since 3.4 has only two significant digits, you take that 86.0588 and you go to the second significant digit. So you go right here. That just leaves the six. So since it's four less, you let it rest. So you just go with the 86. All right. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you soon.